and Captain Massey, guys, we are finally back again for the very second reaction video of this year, Mr. Lix reaction channel, guys. The first one will be in where? In the first comment, in the comment box below. And with that said, guys, big up the Mr. Lix YouTube fan for definitely dropping by and saying Mr. Lix in the building, as well as the new peoples out there, the newcomers, big up all yourself as well. Come on in, brothers and sisters, and take part. Sit down. We have food and drinks for you to have, and of course, a nice show. Oh, in that regard reaction vibrations on this year mr Lix reaction channel, guys give this video a thumbs up if you understand it of course getting the vibrations for which i have my views let me know your views in the comment box below as well and of course subscribe and turn on that post notifications so you can get so you can get all the videos as they tend to come through right there and then guys let us get into the vibrations right now brothers and sisters right there oh, all right then first of all i'm seeing something that was sent yesterday guys and apparently deals with the dominica state college right there latest update February 2nd, 2023. Dominica State College is gearing up for the return of face-to-face -face learning. My question here is, did they fix the school as they're gearing up for face-to-face -face learning? Because apparently if they're going to be putting back students in the terrible conditions, the best they do it online. Or best they, best they do it at somebody's home. <laughs> or best they do it in botanical gardens. Because you cannot tell me, oh, well, I haven't been up there, guys, so I don't know. Individuals who are part of the Dominica State College, let me know that in the comment box below. Did they fix up the school? But anyways, I see some bulletin points there. So let's get into it. We have made a few amendments to our academic calendar. Okay, so I think before you do this, you should say, guys, we have fixed the school. Is that is that necessary? <laughs> All right, then. Anyways, we have made a few amendments to our academic calendar for semester two, the academic year 2022 to 2023. We are moving into 2023. Of course, January is already gone. Brothers and sisters, time goes so quickly. January doesn't January like January before, you know, guys. Remember when January was 12 months? <laughs> well, January is now <laughs> a few weeks. <laughs> Anyways, guys, um, clinical nursing students will begin rotation on February 6th. That is about three days, I'm guessing, on Monday, beginning Monday. So, you got the, the clinical nursing students, you already know your rotations begin on uh, February 6th. Teaching practice will resume on February 6th as well. Joint Board of Teachers Education, BTE, classes uh, commence on January 25th. That started already and continue on to the upper and continue to the upper campus. The upper campus is where? Isn't the lower campus where they actually made the new school, so to speak? Are they going up again into the, the, the broken now? Maybe they fix it. I don't know, guys. Let me know that in the comment box below if they did fix the spot right there. Students will begin enrollment for classes on the online on the online student portal classes class classes 365 on February 13th. So I'm guessing that the enrollment of students will begin, or the enrolled students uh, for classes will uh, be on their, they will have the access to the online portal uh, on February 13th. Short courses and Mandarin, what is it? Mandarin? So we don't have Creole in school, but we have Mandarin classes. We don't have Creole in school, but we have Mandarin classes. First of all, guys, Chinese is not the language that is universal, you know. It's English. English is a universal, universal language. And then there's Spanish after that. So if English is the universal language and Spanish is after that, then, then why are we learning Mandarin? For what reason? I mean, if you want to learn Mandarin, that's fine. It's another uh, language you can add to your store. But learning Mandarin doesn't help you, especially in this economic standing. What we, opportunities that we get in Dominica is for us to learn Mandarin, really? <laughs> <laughs> ay, ay, ay. but that is something else we eh? unless you are planning to go and study in china and you need to get your your thing so you just do your thing very quickly so you'll spend less year then that would make sense if you're going to study in china are you actively know, knowing that you're going to be studying in china get a scholarship to go and study in china is that is that something i don't know uh but this is this is this is it, it always makes my mind go crazy boggles my mind brothers and sisters why aren't they pushing creole in schools i mean i think it might be part of our culture versus learning somebody else's culture for what reason anyways i, I give a few reasons myself but i think it'll be much more beneficial to have the courses of creole as well i mean come on we did that that language is a dying language you know in the next what 15 20 years just like trinidad trinidad used to learn creole too you know dominicans went down to trinidad and organized i learned that um, um, when last year a lot of them no i learned that um, the previous year before and then found out that what what i learned back then was actually reiterated because they knew other people i was creed i'm um, speaking creole this is why when they talk about um um why is it now 
Um, that's one of the reasons why I don't understand why Jamaica is saying Jamaican Patois. In the first place, Patois is a French word. <laughs> so maybe there was connections to the French Isle, um, from the French islands to, to um, Jamaica as well. Well, the colonized, colonial, colonialized French islands. It's not the French islands. They colonized it. They colonized it. So that is another thing right there. Anyways, guys, I talking too much. <laughs> Contractors are currently on site carrying out repairs. Okay. Thank, thanks for that information right there. To the lower campus classrooms required for face-to-face -face teaching, it is anticipated that all other classes will resume on campus towards the end of February 2023. So, okay, at least we got a little insight right there. Contractors are currently on site, so it's not completed yet, but um, classes is going to begin very soon. Next, 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 next week. Hopefully they can finish during the weekend. Hopefully that that is organized right there. Anyways, guys, moving along in this regard, I saw something rather interesting when it comes down to the stove, and I think I'll, I'll point it out. I don't know if this is one hundred percent true, but when it comes down to fire and whatnot, guys, I think it's important that we we, we pay attention to these kind of things. Please always pay a, pay close attention to the color of the flames from the stove tops, brothers and sisters. If the flame is blue, all is well. Gas is mixed well, and flames. The flame's temperature is around 150 to 175, blah, blah, blah. If the flames instead are orange or red, they are selling you gas mixed with a higher dose of oxygen. Yes, that's very true. When the fire turns red, there's oxygen inside there. You can always see when it flat. You, anyways, yeah, there's a hurry. <laughs> resulting in a lower flame temperature around 900 to 1,200. So they're giving, so they depleted the gas in Dominica. They're giving you weaker gas. Uh, weaker quality gas according to rubies they're giving you weaker quality gas in, in, in um, 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 dominica now they're giving you weaker quality propane gas <laughs> that's, uh, that's interesting right there therefore more gas consumption causes you to increase consumption costs and therefore you have to constantly be buying so this is what your your flame should look like it should definitely although there's some oxygen you can see some oxygen there boop 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 all right a little something here and there but it should not be like this brothers and sisters it's not christmas it's not Christmas. Keep that in mind, brethren. All right, then. Anyways, guys, moving along. Apparently, there was some minister being caught, a new minister, uh, caught in some sort of interesting scope right there, brothers and sisters. And, of course, this is her right there. Very interesting stuff, brothers and sisters. Very interesting stuff. There was also a video circulating as a result of this picture. She's kissing another girl. Or another girl is kissing her. That's very interesting right there this is the video they were actually at maybe this is emerald pool or somewhere and they're looking like they're having a good time and stuff man oh yeah hey look what's here i'm so in love wow and even matching tattoos i guess they just get a matching tattoo there well that is very interesting but the real story behind this guys this is actually not what it is right there I actually know this girl that's a close friend of hers right there this is some of all you are just insane for the things that you are saying also the video in question this was actually taken from her st a story her story this was taken from her story and somebody made this caption right there okay so let me just bring it down somebody else made the caption right there i don't see in me and man do have luck already so myself is a good woman i looking for so the person is creating a narrative that she is saying this very thing when that is not the case at all. Now, I understand that um, um, Lakia might have, and, and this is not just her, a number of women tend to have this. They have a, a, a slight, some have more, some have slight a masculine pers pers personif personific something. <laughs> Des deep disposition, some kind of thing like that. It's uh, she's a very, very nice looking girl, no doubt about it. Uh, but sometimes some people might say that she might have a masculine um, disposition and believe that she's flipping on the other. That is, guys, that is <laughs> some of all you just crazy, you know. Some of all you just all you crazy, just like some men have a feminine disposition to them. I, I don't know if I'm using the right word, a feminine mannerism to them, so to speak. Um. And that has to do with oxygen, um, estrogen, and testosterone, and some kind of this kind of hormonal thing that that people have. You know, as a result of human beings, you know, the fault of of humanity it's, itself has created some kind of strange kind of hormon, hormonal mix up and what have you. But brothers and sisters, no, she's she's not that that kind of kind of person right there. I actually, know her. I actually, know both of them right there. This is Alina. 
So actually, no, both of them right there and and people are just making up stuff because they believe that she has a bit of a mask more she's you know she's she's feminine no doubt about it i've interacted with her i like her vibe and everything like that but some people might think that she has a masculine thing and as a result of of, of that she might they might think that she has you know she's on flipping on the other side and this kind of things here so all you all you all you too troublesome some of all you too leave the girl alone leave the girl alone all you too freaking troublesome Anyway, it's talking about masculine disposition. I I, I noticed there was too much masculine <laughs> masculine inside there, but there was some kind of situation. I'm not sure if this is a teacher or or what is what is happening there. But I've I've heard that there was some kind of um I think maybe a squabble between two schools, one happening at a certain time and the other one coming. I don't know. You guys can explain to me what on earth is going on there. Because I'm very confused as to what exactly is happening in this regard. Right there. But um, you guys need to understand. Well, you must be able to stop all your dirty ways, man. But this guy is... Maybe this is a teacher. I'm guessing this is a teacher probably trying to break up a fight or something. But yeah, we need to stop that. Anyways, moving along right there, brothers and sisters. We saw this very um thing right there. We saw this. Anyways, guys, I was rudely interrupted. But there's something quite interesting right there on a song that is very disturbing. I don't know what is going on with Dominica. Maybe Dominica decided to try to go after the worst set of songs that they can make to see if they can get a pool or something all over the place. I heard the very song playing in, 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 in Brooklyn. They didn't play the full thing because they thought it was very absurd and stuff. They played a little part of it. They mute certain things and then they switched to the next song. But I think... This thing, I mean, this these are tourists in Dominica, brothers and sisters. Tourists come and visit Dominica. And the bus, look at the bus driver plane. Now the beat and everything is nice, but the lyrics all, all that that is the that is the best song you can play. That is the best song, huh? Annie by you pay Annie by your love now something. That that is the best song you can play for the tourists them to come and enjoy. Maybe these people are French. Maybe they don't know what they say they, that you were saying. And he literally don't even pause. You know, I have to block it myself. No, I get the phone and everything like that. But my sir, come on, play, play. That is the best music you decide. So when they go at the home, they're going to say, guys, the bus driver was so cool and he was playing this music. Push your hand in my and put it in my mouth. Really? Really? <laughs> oh my god. Help us, Father. Help us. That is the music. That is the music that we have to promote. Eh? That is that is the music we have to promote. I mean, come on. We're going to fire. Maybe it's just me. <laughs> my girl, why you you mind you mash up your spine? You my mind you mash up your spine, my girl. Mind you mash up your spine, my girl. <laughs> so they free up themselves, that's good and what have you. But I mean this the, the previous song you're playing there, my brother. Come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on, Nigel. Come on. Anyways, now you see them having fun in Dominica, at least they remember it, but come on, my my, my brother, what what, 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 what is that? Hopefully they didn't understand what they was <laughs> they were saying there. Anyways, guys, I have to point this out right there. Um, uh, somebody actually pointed out to me that this thing, this is the the warehouse in um Masak. That was, I guess, this is um the, the basketball spot, and then this one is actually the promised thing that they would uh, have done i think this is 2019 they stated that they're going to be doing something in rose north and this is what they're going to be building but apparently this was never built during the, the tenure and the prime minister called elections again yes last year but these are actually two things two different things right there but we know on the basis of this this you know when they tend to put up designs they tend to do something like this so i'm guessing this is why uh, this was created right there because they, this was supposed to be a sports complex with tennis and swimming pool and what have you. Just like the netball facility in Stock Farm. 
and then this is supposed to be the basketball sport complex but this is one of the reasons why i would say guys a lot of things have been stated but when it comes down to reality they're not done since 2014 we know the prime minister say next time we reach in we come in we will build international airport two elections later no international airport guys sometimes we need to wake up eh what do you think maybe it's just me we need to wake up or maybe i sleep in maybe i snooze in i <laughs> hit in this snooze button but this would be nice to have no doubt about it and then of course maybe we can have some professional tennis coming up from dominica and professional tennis tennis olympians coming up from dominica going and playing wimbledon will <laughs> wimbledon or wimbledon whichever it is going and she see serena Sir, Sir, venus Sir, venus and serena hello venus and serena all right i don't know them um fellas name <laughs> Whoever they be there. It's been a sensory. I don't watch tennis. And that girl, um, the, the Asian black girl. What is her name again? Um, I seen her face. Eh? She got pregnant the other day by her boyfriend. Who is also an Asian Asian black guy. Mixed. So I'm guessing they're going to have an Asian black mixed baby. Um, but what is her name? Uh? Osh, 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 Osaka. Osaka. <laughs> Osaka man I don't think that's her name but that's uh, the place where she's staying but everybody's named Osaka so Naomi, Naomi Osaka I think that's the name yeah I think I think so anyways guys yeah so anyways don't forget guys to check out the previous reaction or the latest no this the latest the previous reaction video I did uh, today as well that'll mean the first comment in the comment box below guys your boy gotta roll out I gotta go get my my signatures and what have you for me to get passport papa all right passport <laughs> <laughs> anyways guys before i stay right there give this video a thumbs up if you understand it if you want to see more definitely subscribe and turn on that post notification so you can get all our videos as they tend to go through i'll see you guys in the next reaction video Boom,